Okay, so other filter I created, it's a kind of give you grunge filter. So it's apply extra effects when you work with a um, image. And overall, you can notice it will apply the tonal correction, it will apply um, frame. Let's go ahead, just preload a different image so we can see with wide frame how it will create it. Okay, so here example, and you can see we have it some frame apply with a little bit grind kind of going on the edges. Of course, we apply as well um different can apply different tonal correction. A little bit more depth on the skill as we need it. A little bit more depth. Okay, here's another example. You can see we have heavier highlights on the skin. Okay, let's preload it some other one colors and um, adjustment there, a little bit different colors. So let's go ahead and open this filter and just analyze, see how it's work. Okay, this one have a little bit more work flow going through this. Okay, and we start with um, our image we're loading. You'll notice right here we have it few adjustments. We can divide this by zone right here. This is zone which create green and a frame. And this is was applying specific ways. So we can any dimension of the image and it will adjust according to that. Okay, so let's go ahead and move this little bit out. And the other path we have it right here, it is adjustment of the image, combinations, color correction, some additional overlay, um, glowing and desaturation. Okay, let's begin with the creating our frame. First, you'll notice we're taking our vector and this is help us for our frame to create bevel. So we input and bevel accept also as a curve, we need convert to the curve. So we take our base, we input base from our image and as you look in a graph you can see we have all these different type of the graph that is a component performed for us and we output as control on a bevel for our frame so right here you can see we have a nice bevel frame up on um, our applied as well as the content and this is will help us in the future to add this greenish to the darker elements so kind of more enhance of them we enhancing and making a kind of blending with our noises. So we have our basic pearl noise. Again, we take this pearl and basic noise, go through the base adjustment, which has helped us to create this kind of uneven, interesting edge of the frame. So almost like smoky. The next, we're going to the scale. The reason why I apply to scale, so the cut little so, okay, the reason is that for the scale, if you look on this frame, you can see we have a little bit too much border. I won't push them away. So we scale up a little bit and we're putting a little bit more um, kind of Grinch on the side. So the our scales is scale 1.11. You can modify. But again, because I like how the frame will adjust to our image. So we kind of almost just preset and leave the settings. You could um, make them changeable, but again, most time you don't need to worry about this. So right here, again, we have our frame when we apply image. And next we're going to blend. So we blend by multiply because we're going with a black color and we will multiply our middle, right? This image, if you see, with some green that we applied before. So we're creating this kind of green look for our image. And of course, our purling noise. Okay, let's put this down right here. This is our foreground. Our background is our frame and opacity. It's a set by our middle image, which allowed us to create this kind of greenish more on the side and blending to the middle. So this is will be one of our node. The other ones, which is going, we can see we have a high pass, which is creating this very nice odd line with kind of darkness. We desaturating image, blending them together. These are help us to avoid 
some of this effect to um, gray color. So in some case, if you look between these two images, one is a little bit higher contrast and add a little bit more on the glowing elements. Next, we're going to our threshold where we have our smoothness and brightness. And this will just remove some of those elements. It's give it us add more of the contrast and ageness, age kind of to um, our image. This point we have it, our mask is created for our um, frame and green, and we're going in our blend mode, combine them together. So at this point, come you can see we have it almost 100%, and I'm probably going to keep this uh, because at this moment I want to create this green effect with frame and some overlay of the image. We can still control it from our brightness if we need it. Um, just add a little bit more on the brightness example and smoothness. So like example right here, image, this combination. Okay, as well on this brightness and contrast node we we passed in, we can um, modify how all these borders and all this contrast will blend together so we have it our modification for the brightness and contrast which is going next blending with our other image where we have a final image um, original image sorry and it's going in a blend mode we're using soft light and we apply what we modified with our original image notice we also have this opacity the reason why because this is our main kind of greenish effect that we're going over our image and opacity help us balance between original image and also um, modified overlay. Okay, so next, if you notice from our image, I want to go and modify now colors. I do like work with the curves and this is what we're doing here. So we're actually going and we set all of these different curves. And each of this curve, it's controlled by user. We'll look later how artists can access. And we'll take simple separation for RGB. We take this tone curve, and you notice tone curve is have a source and curve that control it. And after we combine this and putting assemble in our RGB. So this has allowed us to create this very nice tonal different by manipulating. Okay, as we're going forward, okay, let's go to adjust this way. You can see from this point, we're going to our other blend. Before we jump into our blend, let's um, look on additional color, color overlay. So if our color that we have before, this one RGB was working to change curve of the image. Also, I like to have it image overlay color from lighter to darker. In example, right here, we have it from warm to cold, uh, cold color. Um, it will provide a very interesting kind of overall tonal effect on our image. We do provide two controllable colors. It's top and bottom color, adjusting here, and as well, just simple blending mode. Notice the mode, on this case, it's set by the color. So we don't change saturations, we don't change luminosity, all what we change, it's applied just color change overlay, which is um, very nice and clean control for us. So the next we will go into another blending mode and that blending mode, it's working with our noise. So first we're using average color, we'll take original image that we have it, average colors and based on this creating this color. Um, we also connecting this to our fractal, which is stones, and we'll set roughness and contrast to 100%. Okay, so right here we're creating stones, and next what I want to do, illuminate some of the tiny, tiny details. So we run through the blur to creating this kind of nice effect. Um, next, we're going inside our the blend, and you can see by using multiply mode, we applying some of those green additional effect over our image. Um, of course, this one will require or we need to provide some noise overlay because not always you want to apply some of this kind of uh, bumpiness effect to the image, so you want to overlay. 
and also as we're going over you can see from same average color we're connecting to our frame where we're using surrounding color for our frame and we also blur this all the way so it's almost all gone except right here some corners make darker so this will add in the future very nice effect so after this blending when we blend with a uh, we take from our assemble RGB, we're going to our blend with overlay, and we're going also to the blur this mode. So this way with blur and with brightness in contrast, we can create these elements, which has allowed us to creating blooming effect. So let's go from our assemble from RGB, we're going to want to process this additional greens overlay, additional blooming effect. And we're going to our blue uh, to our blend mode where we have it our background set as a RGB process image and for a ground from our bloom and additional distortion effect and of course we create control glow which allowed us to add this kind of glowing elements to our image okay after this we have at the next blend which is take our frame that just showing it's kind of very subtle frame mostly you can see right here vignetting add to the some corners very subtle okay next we're going to from our image we're going to another blender and another node going same image through saturation all this is does for us it just help us to create remove some of the coloring if we need to create closer black and white image as we need it um the reason is why because i noticed with all this overlay and other modes sometimes we add extra saturation to our image and it's not necessarily look maybe what you're going with extra saturation so this way it's allowed us to balance this between saturations and saturated color with uh, our black and white control so this is kind of in, um element what we have it so it's not a, that um, big like some other ones but it does have it some process that we apply to elements of course we gone in order and I did rearrange some of these elements easy to access okay so let's go ahead and save the filter and right here we can go in a settings and you can see we have our brightness contrast smoothness black and white glow we have our greenish opacity tone opacity also top bottom colors no overlay border and our nodes notice right here with the nodes so if we apply to settings you can click on this and now you have it access to the filters i did not use it those curves in some other however but they allowed you to access and create very nice effect for example this is an on red we can go to cyan and you can see overlay on a mid-tone cyans we can take lower red example or create more cinematic for example we can go this cyan like effect a little bit red color click ok we can go to the green let's flatten green a little bit and we can go to the blue bring shadows a little bit up so we can create an actually green a little bit down below let's curve them in like this and we can create some other effect more cinematic look kind of yellowish or and again with the, remember with our tone opacity we can add more overlay as if we're going higher green black and white you can see right here we can modify this again this is a um you can create a lot of play with different tonal effect and it's not just a, as we did with color correction how says this is more greenish effect so it's have this crush black you can apply it add some uh, distortion to our image so it will help you to create this kind of unique um, look for the image and again you can download it if you're not yet downloaded this in this uh, filter from filter forge it's free uh, filter just play around see if you can modify and uh, just create it your own editions or your work and be sure to share um, images that use this filter online so it's interesting to see what you guys come up with